some Hogwarts Legacy downloadable content and extras offered with the initial game purchases of Hogwarts Legacy have successfully been leaked. This has been confirmed by not only just the person who posted it, but by some of the other Reddit moderators over on r slash Harry Potter game. I'm going to put the link to this post down below, but I want to give a big shout out obviously to Opal Element, the discovery of this uh, particular list of stuff. I'm going to talk about the list of stuff with you guys and speculate just a little bit and see what we can find within this post. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt. It is a Reddit post. However, this was confirmed by multiple people, including Reddit moderators. They wouldn't have allowed the post to stay up for as long as it has without this being verified. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go through the list of things with you now. They include a Thestral mount, a dark Arts cosmetic pack, Dark Arts Battle Arena, Dark Arts Garrison Hat, 72 hours early access to the game, a Kelpie robe, a steel case, which would obviously you know hold the physical copy of the game, and then a floating ancient magic wand with a book. Now, as the post says, there are obviously uh, you know gonna be labels for this like digital only or deluxe digital only. Um, but there aren't any descriptions or labels that otherwise will tell you which version is which. So all eight of these could be like the ultimate collector's edition or some of these are obviously going to be digital only like the Kelpie robe, the Thestral mount. I assume that those are going to be, you know, digital pieces of content that we'll be able to wear in the game. We'll be able to, um, to use in the game like the Thestral mount, which is so sick by the way. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. This is cool information and um, again to kind of give you how this was found by Opal Element uh, you can go to the Hogwarts Legacy page HTTPS www.hogwartslegacy.com slash en dash us and you can view the HTML source of the page and you can do this on actually like any website you can just view the source code for the page now what you can do is then search and I wasn't able to do this properly uh, but you know a lot of other people have confirmed that this is legit so they found these objects inside the Hogwarts Legacy website so that kind of leads to some theories about well what is it gonna be is it gonna be a physical item is it gonna be digital content what is this three days early access is that gonna be just for PlayStation is that gonna be just for PC or switch or whatever who's gonna get early access so again starting with probably the easiest few guesses here I'm gonna go ahead and speculate that one the Thestral Mount, the Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack, the Garrison Hat, the Kelpie Robe are all going to be pieces of digital content, things that we only access in the game itself. So again, outfits that we can wear, and I don't know what the Dark Arts Cosmetic Pack is going to look like. Maybe it's going to be like that super sick like Dark Wizard's Robe that you can wear. I don't know if that's going to be like Pointy Hat, Bowler Hat top hat like Rookwood who really knows obviously we don't have the images for this we just have the descriptors here in front of us with this post so that's my speculation that the mount cosmetic pack the hat and the kelpie robe are going to be in-game things that we can wear we can go to Madame Hawkins or not Madame Hawkins but you know whatever the store is in Hogsmeade and then change our outfit as we've seen you know in the state of play and in the devlog and all that other good stuff so that's my guess for those few. The one that I am the most confused about is the Dark Arts Battle Arena. I don't really know what that means. I thought that this wasn't supposed to be a multiplayer game. You know, like if this is a skin for a map that you can use to just practice uh, your spells, that's that's a potential thing that you can use in the game, you know, just to practice your spell casting, your combos. There may even be like a really cool horde mode or something that we haven't even seen where you can like survive as many waves as you can i have no idea what that means or if that's a larger chunk of content like your guaranteed access to the battle arena whenever that piece of content launches later down the road now the physical aspect the things you'll actually be able to get in your hand are going to be the steel case and the floating ancient magic wand with a book i'm really interested to see what these are and how exactly they relate to the game 
a floating ancient magic wand if this is a wand that we have to chase after almost like the elder wand and we have to procure that in the game itself and then see you know going forward how that affects the gameplay or if this book holds some sort of ancient secret about our magical powers and things that we don't even know about yet as our character has that story that unfolds again i want to reiterate this may be a fear of some of you guys, but there are not going to be microtransactions. Never, ever, ever will there be microtransactions in this game, according to the FAQ on the Hogwarts Legacy web, uh, website. Are there in-game purchases or microtransactions in Hogwarts Legacy? And it simply says no. So that's great. That's great news. Um, so this DLC, I guess the battle arena would potentially be something that you have to prepay for because it's not a microtransaction unless they're talking about DLC that you can purchase for outside of the initial game. I guess technically that's not a microtransaction, but now I feel like we're starting to split hairs. Anyway, I am excited for these things, this list of stuff, these pre-order bonuses, uh, 72 hours early access supposed to be playstation big deal so like this specific marketing scheme and this everything that they're doing with playstation is pointing to potentially ps5 getting or playstation consoles getting three days early access to the game which is unbelievable honestly that is that's intense that's a that's a really big deal to me uh personally as somebody who hasn't been able to get one you know so I don't know. Uh, I hope that that is something that they thought through <laughs> because it would really suck if that's just for a specific console or if you've pre-ordered, you know, the ultimate edition that whatever edition it is you get, you can get early access to. So I'm not sure. Let me know what your comments are down in the comment section below. What do you think we're going to be getting for these bonuses? Uh, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm right? Can you see any of this being feasible or do you think that it's just kind of wild even though it's technically on the website? I don't know. Let me know though down in the comment section below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already. YouTube stole about 400 subs and I need to get those back. So I love you guys and I hope you have a great day. Until next time. Peace.